Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create a single color SVG from your own artwork to bring into Cricut Design Space. In this video, we'll learn how to create a single color SVG in Vector Q. And it's basically going to be the outline of your artwork. And then in the follow-up video, we'll learn how to convert that into a color SVG with a black outline. By the way, Vector Q does cost $5.99 in the App Store. It's actually free to download, but then you'll have to upgrade in order to export your SVGs. So you can still go ahead and download it and follow along until you're ready to export. When you open up Vector Q, you're going to get to this screen and you can just click on New Drawing. And this is where we're gonna create our new drawing. But I always like to start from a sketch and I just did a quick little sketch up in Procreate. If you wanna download the sketch to follow along, I'll have it linked down in the description. To import the sketch, you're just gonna click on the little picture icon here and click the plus sign and then select the file and then you can just click and drag and make it however big you want it. It doesn't matter how big because the final file is vector which will scale to any size. Once you have the image down you can go to appearance and effects and you can set the opacity and bring it down and this way it'll just be lighter so that it's easier to draw over and then we can go ahead and lock that layer and then you can close your appearance panel and now we're going to make a new layer that we can draw on so I'm gonna click this little new layer button and I'll go ahead and grab my brush tool here and there are a couple different settings for the brush tool there aren't like a ton of brushes in this program but I still like to draw in this program better than the other ones because I just feel like it draws better. It makes a lot less anchor points and just nicer lines for me. You have two options, so you have either the pencil or the paintbrush. The other one is the marker, but we're not going to use that because when you draw with the marker, it really draws it as a shape and then it's not editable as far as like the line, like if you wanted to move part of the line over, you wouldn't be able to. So we're not gonna do that one. Your other two options are the paintbrush, which is really cool because it has the variable width. However, one thing I don't love is that it makes it a little skinny width at the very ends and there doesn't seem to be a way to change that. You can change it after the fact, but as far as I can see, you can't change it so that when you draw, it's not super skinny. Like it actually goes down to zero width. The other option is the pencil tool. And this is going to just do the same thickness the whole way, but I really like having variable thickness stroke. But here's what's cool is that when you draw with it, you can then click on this stroke tool right here and you can click on your line and you can actually change the line weights. If we change it from a line to paintbrush stroke, then you can actually change the thickness throughout the stroke. There's these little dots right here and each dot has a handle and if you pull the handle, you can make it thicker and thinner. And that's really cool. I love that it gives you so much control over it. And you can even add a point. If, say, you want it to get thicker right here, you can click on it and it'll add a point and then you can make it thicker. So I'm going to go with that method for drawing the kitty cat. And you can pick whichever method you want. I'm going to delete this. So I'll just grab my select tool and click this little delete right down here. So let's go back to our brush. I have mine on the pencil and then pick whatever size you think is good. So you can bring it up or down here. You can mess around with the smoothness here, but I don't really find a huge difference with the different settings for it. So I have mine on size eight and I think that's good. And now I'm going to click on appearance and I'll go to the fill color and I'm gonna pick black, and now it's black. The undo button is down at the bottom here, so you can't do the two finger undo, you have to click that button. 
Now I'm on this layer because I have it selected. I'm going to collapse these so they're not in the way. So just click on the title of the layers there. I'm going to go ahead and just draw right over my kitty illustration. So there's the head. Now let's go ahead and mess around with the lines a little bit. So I click on the line tool and I'm just going to click into one of these. And remember, we have to change it to be this kind of stroke. And then I'll just add a little point in the middle and go like that. And then one thing we actually can do if you just want to change all of them into the paintbrush stroke all at once is grab your select tool and select everything and then go to your line tool and click the little paintbrush stroke. And then now they're all the paintbrush stroke. So I really like that look because it just looks like it was drawn with a marker. And now I'm going to go back and finish drawing the rest of my lines. For these little ears in here, I kind of want those to be a little bit skinnier. So I'll just bring it down to, let's see, five is good. For the eyes, I can use a shape because that'll just be easier. So I'm going to click on the shape tool and make sure I'm on the circle. I'm going to unclick the one-to-one -one button so that way I can do an oval instead of a perfect circle. There's my oval and I'll click my select tool so that I can rotate it by clicking this little circle up here. And now I'm just going to duplicate this to make the other eye. So with this one selected I'll click the three lines and duplicate. And you may have to zoom it in to be able to select it to bring it over. If you mess up like this, you can redraw it or you can grab your node select tool, click on it, and then just grab these handles and you can move those around. You can grab the anchor point and move that around. I actually ended up with one too many anchor points here, so it's kind of messing me up here. So I can just delete one of these. If I just use my select tool and click on the anchor point and then I can go up here. There's a little minus with an anchor point right here. So just click that and then that one goes away. So now I just have the one up here and one down here. It's really hard to do little circles like this. So I'm going to use the shape tool for that. So again, I'm going to click on the shape tool and it's on circle. And I really want to do ovals, so I have my one-to-one -one ratio off. And I'll just make a little oval, grab my select tool and rotate, and then I'll just duplicate it. And I can even duplicate all three of these if I select all three of them and then click duplicate. And I can bring the whole group over here. Now let's go ahead and set our line weights. I'm going to select some of my strokes. I just want to make sure that I don't select the shapes because we don't want to accidentally add a outline to those shapes. So I'll just select what I can that is not going to be a shape and I can change that to the variable width stroke. And now we can go ahead and change our line widths. Here is my final kitty cat. Now I can go to my layers panel and delete my sketch layer. So I'm going to click on the sketch layer and see the red arrow here means it's selected. And I'll just delete the layer with this delete layer button. Actually now after taking the sketch layer off I can see some parts that I would kind of like to change. Like this part's really thick right here. So let's make it a little bit thicker towards the bottom too. Now I'm pretty happy with my kitty cat. Let's go ahead and duplicate this file so that we keep the original one with all of our line work. We'll go to close and then click on the little hamburger menu right here. And we're going to do duplicate. If we click on that, this one we can convert to a shape. So let's just select everything. We're going to go to actions, edit paths, outline stroke. And now you can see that these are all shapes because they have a line going around them. And if you're familiar with the Cricut, you know that the Cricut would actually cut this and cut this so this little piece would get cut out. So we need to combine this all into one shape. 
And to do that, we're going to go up to the edit menu and click combine. And now you can see that it's all one shape. So now we can go ahead and export it as an SVG and remember to do this step, you're going to need to upgrade to the paid version, which is just $5.99. So we're going to click on share SVG, open in, and then save to files. At least that's how I do it. You can save it to drive or something else if you want. And then I'm going to give this a name, save. Now we can jump over to Cricut Design Space, and I'm in a blank document right here. So I'm just going to do Upload, Browse Files, and I'll find my kitty. I can give it a name, select it, and insert. Here's my little kitty. If I go look at my layers, then I can see that the whole thing is one shape with all of its little cuts and things, so that's perfect. Stay tuned for the next video where we will add color to the kitty and we'll make him into a layered SVG with colors. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. You can always email me at heather at heathercash.com. If you have any ideas for future videos, things you'd like to learn, let me know and I'll add it to my list. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!